Governor Kawira Mwangaza's bid to stop the proceedings that impeached her failed, albeit after the fact of impeachment by the Assembly. The Court of Appeal in Nyeri dismissed her application and the three-judge bench ruled that the Meru governor did not present sufficient grounds to block the Meru County Assembly from debating her impeachment motion. Meanwhile, the governor's legal team says it will lodge a petition in court to have the Senate barred from proceeding with the impeachment process, as Stephen Latour reports. I, Honorable Bishop Kawira Mwangaza. Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza's attempt to stop her removal from office failed yet again on Friday. The Court of Appeal sitting in Nyeri handed the embattled governor a major blow by dismissing her early application to block the county assembly from debating her impeachment motion. Court of Appeal judges Jamila Mohammed, Luka Kimaru and Agri Mushalule dismissed the governor's plea saying her case lacked sufficient grounds. The three judge bench saying, and I quote, the courts cannot in the first instance intervene in the impeachment of the applicant. This is because of the strict timelines provided by the law. The bench further stated in its ruling that the applicant's right to be heard and defend herself from the legislators made in the impeachment debate is provided under the standing orders of the county assembly. If she is impeached, she will have an opportunity to present her case before the Senate. The governor had told the court that she will not be handed a fair hearing at the county assembly, adding that majority of the grounds that formed the impeachment motion were matters before a court of law and amounted to prejudice. So far, nine court cases have entangled Governor Kawira Mwangaza's removal from office, seven at the high court, with two criminal matters at the lower courts, according to her lawyers. <laughs> In Meru, a group of local women leaders asked the Senate to uphold the highest degree of scrutiny to determine the matter. The year of 2022, we voted Kawera Mwangaza knowing she was one of us. We knew she was a woman by gender sure. and we supported her overwhelmingly because we knew that as a woman, she most uh, sincerely understood the needs and the wishes of the Meru people. Yes. But the one year in office, Kawera Mwangaza has proven to be the face of impunity. The prayer that we have for the Senate now that the motion of impeachment is in the respect and uh, house of the Senate, is that the senators will hear the prayer of the Meru people and give us justice. The Senate is yet to decide whether a special committee or the plenary will handle the matter. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.